I have allowed my cement to dry until it's tacky, so now it's time to put it together. And you'll notice I have folded this over where I had my line. And so what I'm going to do is uh, take this piece and set it into place about right where this fold is. and uh, making sure that this piece is where it should be. Now I can press this down, fold this piece over, and press it down and make sure that we're tight on the inside. And now we can trim this. I find the uh, craft knife to be excellent for trimming the lining since this is a rather stout piece of leather it'll take uh, sometimes two passes to get the cut all the way through but make sure that you cut it exactly flush up with the side of the top piece. And we'll do this all the way around. And now I'm very carefully trimming the lining on the holster and as we did before we're staying as close and as flush as we can. Sometimes you may have to come back and do a little trimming. Sometimes you may have to come back and do a little trimming as you see me doing here. It's time to punch some holes and we need two holes in the bottom of our holster so I'll need to put a, uh, a punching board underneath and punch this all the way through and also a second one right here. This will be for the hold down strap. To punch the holes uh, in our uh, holster, I'm slipping it over the edge of my table. As you can see, this is because of the bend we already have in there. And then we can punch our holes. As you can see now, I'm using a 1 8 inch punch because I'm going to use the uh, Florentine lace to put this together. So we will punch these holes all the way down this side and on the back side as well. It's time to punch some holes and we need two holes in the bottom of our holster so I'll need to put a, uh, a punching board underneath and punch this all the way through and also a second one right here. This will be for the hold down strap. To punch the holes uh, in our uh, holster. I'm slipping it over the edge of my table. As you can see, this is because of the bend we already have in there. And then we can punch our holes. 
as you can see now, I'm using a 1 8 inch punch because I'm going to use the uh, Florentine lace to put this together. So we will punch these holes all the way down this side and on the back side as well. It is now time to punch holes as marked on your pattern. And we'll do this on all of the holes that are marked. In this case, they'll all be 1 8 inch holes because they'll either be for lace or for a rivet. If you remember when we marked those holes with the four prong chisel, we'll now take our awl and we'll go through all the thicknesses of the leather as, uh, as you can see. And then we will come back and we will stitch this. And now I will use the two needle method and stitch across the top and the bottom of this holster. Now that we have done the stitching uh, top and bottom on our holster, it's time to do some edge beveling. And uh, I'll take my edge bevel and we'll do the inside and the outside on uh, all of these. We will also do the bottom. I'm going to use some uh, 400 grit wet or dry sandpaper and I'm going to sand this edge uh, for two reasons. One, to smooth out my edge beveling, and two, to get rid of any cement that has squeezed out on there uh, to make our edge beveling or our edge finishing look a little better. After the sanding, I will dampen this edge with water or with gum tragicanth, and then I will use the proper size on my slicker, and then we'll slick this edge. You might find it easier 
when you get down in here where the curve is to just use the side of it as you see me doing here. Keep working on that until you're pleased with it. Next I will use some of the dark brown edge dressing and I will paint the edges as you can see me doing here. I'll very carefully do that so that it just stays on the edge. We will use the same edge techniques on the uh, hold down strap that we'll be putting on the front of the holster as well as the back flap and the, hold, uh, the belt holder. We'll do the same technique. It is now time to uh, lace the back side of the holster together. I'm going to use the 3 16th inch uh, Florentine lace to do that and I'll start as you can see from the inside out on this inner part of the holster. I'll pull this up and I'll leave about an inch or an inch and a half that we will use to tuck under. Then we roll the needle over and go through that hole and then we will come through the same hole we started in. And we'll pull this up real tight. And we'll make sure that we tuck that end underneath as you can see. Now I'm going to go through this top set of holes one more time. This will give us Lots of strength up there that we'll need. And now we can continue lacing. I will do the whip stitch on here. Go through each hole from front to back as you can see. Pull it up tight. Lacing the end under as we go. As we get down to the other end, I will go through the last hole the second time. I will take the end and come up through several stitches and then come out and we will Pull this through. And cut it off short with a knife or a shears. And our holster is now all laced up. Uh, we'll continue now with the other parts.